Right. Um, welcome to this important uh, uh, presser uh, to just uh, deal with one uh, matter uh, in relation to the attempts by the state, particularly by uh, some state house staff and some of the UPND elements within government institutions to try and uh, downplay the magnitude of um, the scandal around uh, the God scandal at Kenneth Kaunda International Airport. Zambians have a right to know what is happening on, the, on their soil, especially when it borders around criminality. And patriotic Zambians, particularly members of the opposition, have been speaking on behalf of the Zambian people, asking very critical and pertinent questions around that particular saga, demanding for transparency, especially that government has exposed itself through contradictory statements and the information that is not, not only coordinated but is not telling. After having their pants being caught with their pants down around that scandal, they have devised two or three strategies. One is to try and divert the attention of the citizens by wanting to create a narrative that is based, that this is just basically a street, you know, a transaction of some street scammers of God. Uh, as a way of shielding very senior government officials and authorities in government that obviously uh, everyone, well-meaning Zambian would you know, know that for those aircrafts to end up at the presidential pavilion using the VIP st session of airport, that would not happen save it was cleared from the highest you know, authorities of the land. We have seen a precedence that only goes to demonstrate that Mr. Akainde Ichlema is a coward. He has been allowing pseudo uh, social media platforms like Cosway as a means through which they begin to instruct institutions of government. And what is disappointing, disappointing is that systems of government respond to pseudo platforms of that nature to go and harass the opposition. Today, which is the second time, Cosway and other social media UPND commentators have been demanding for the arrest of Ambassador Mwamba, a member of Central Committee for the Patriotic Front, as well as Deputy Chairman for Information and Publicity. Because of the fact that he has been able to ask pertinent questions demanding for transparency, but instead of just answering those questions, they want to use intimidation. A character that uh, has no proper background in journalism, but has been employed at Zanis, and now has even been attached to the president in terms of covering the president whenever he travels, is even courageous as a civil servant now to start posting on a Facebook page demanding for the arrest of a very seasoned diplomat, a very seasoned journalist, the one that is renowned both locally and internationally in the name of Ambassador Mwamba, to have him arrested and according to their dull and naive you know, argument that because he, he seems to have more information, I'm on him for investigation. What investigation? Investigations should be around what has transpired. We have heard of the fact that the money initially people are claiming it was $40 million. Later on it turned out to be $23 million. It changed to $11 million. Next it was about 6 or so million dollars. Now it is sitting at $5.7 million. All that including now what has turned out to be a description of the Minister of Mines as being a miracle worker who has attempted to change 
the description of the minerals found there from gold to something else. These revelations require answers. Chush Kasanda was apologizing yesterday over complete, conflicting statements from government officials. Jack Mwimbu yesterday was trying to warn his fellow ministers and other government um, officials who have made comments around this issue to say, can you stop it? Only going to demonstrate that this government, the left hand doesn't know what the right hand is doing. And the only reason why that would be the case is whether is only when that particular scandal involves very senior people in government. If it was basically an isolated scandal that doesn't involve anybody in government, it would have been a straightforward arrangement that the panic in government would not have been there. Even this boy they want to use, uh, the young man Cassandra, uh, to try and uh, trivialize this whole scandal and move it away from status, move it away from community house, move it away from government, is because of the fact that they want to divert attention. Now there are pictures which as Zambians are supposed to celebrate. When Ambassador Mamba was High Commissioner in South Africa, Cassandra found himself you know, on the bad side of the law in South Africa. And the duty of an ambassador is to look out for every Zambian. That's what patriotism demands. Even if whatever they have done, if they find themselves in an awkward position, an ambassador or high commissioner in that particular jurisdiction is supposed to safeguard first of all that citizen and bring them back. And if they are to answer to the law, let them answer in their, at the, you know, back home in their country. That's what Americans do. That's what Europeans do. That's what everybody does. They go and unearth those pictures which were taken at the time that that Cassandra and his family went to appreciate the government of Zambia through ambassador for the interventions that were made for him not to be unfairly treated in South Africa. So for us, Koswe and all those elements they are using, we just say hard luck. You are embarrassing your president. All the moves you are making, and I hope the police and law enforcement agencies will not fall to that uh, trick and end up continuing to regret about the actions they take, which only goes to embarrass the head of state and the European government. Thank you very much and good evening.